Hi, we're back with Fallout New Vegas gameplay, and we're talking to Trudy after just killing Joe Cobb. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Um, there's some stuff you can say to her, like this. I'm tracking down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. If fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned. So yeah, we just got a quest, Ghost Town Gunfight. Some of the other... And um, yep, yeah, she just said about that. Uh, broken radio. Sure, the outside. She asked you to have a look at your broken radio. And if you have intelligence to 10, you don't even have to do anything to your repair. You can just do that. Then Feeling talk thirsty? to her again. So I fixed your radio yeah. and you get 50 gaps. Uh, now that, that's quite good, but am I hidden? Yeah. This is how you get quite a lot of money. Just steal all of this. Without her seeing you. Like, there's a... And there you go, then set it all back to her, and they're like, quite good value. Wait till I think it's nine o'clock she comes back. Or not. Oh, there you are. Feeling thirsty? Nope. I'll just show you all this vodka that I picked up. Oh. Oh. That's good. That's good. Where's the dynamite going? What about ten? Can you do? Ten, yes, you can do that. Ooh. And... Pleasure doing this. Right, and so now we've got this new quest, Ghost Town Gunfight. So let's go and do that. And as you can see, or you can't maybe, my HP is very low. I've got one bar left. So that's bad. Yeah. There's one more thing once I've done this quest that I want to do before I leave Good Spring. I know that this might be quite annoying if you just want to get to the next city, but sorry, I'm an explorer, so I'm going to explore. The new Vegas fanning the flames of your past. How much HP do I have? Just in. Citizens of our Vegas are flying. Three HP. Amid a wave of terror caused by a band of raiders known as the Fiends. Those who can afford passports are saying. I will show you later why you should avoid going to Quarry Junction. Oh, please don't shoot me, I've got no health. Who are you? What are you? You're gonna shoot. You better not miss. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard. And that man, Joe Cobb, was looking for you, but I killed him. Uh, thanks, I guess. Cobb wasn't the problem. Maybe I can help. She, uh, he asked you to go and see Sonny Smiles about something. Oh, cash register, and I can actually take. Oh, that's quite good. Yay. A bed! Yes! 
yes, 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 full health. I'll open that because I never really like lockpick. I like walking in third person, but I like battling first, so yeah. For supplies, Chet over at the general store can help you out. If you're looking for supplies, Chet over at the general store can help Chet. you out. That's a weird name. I've got no armor, so I need to see if that guy Chet has got armor. Sorry about these loading screens. Uh, just tell me if I'm doing anything wrong with my videos, like, I don't know, haven't got a good enough camera angle, my sound isn't good enough, stuff like that. Howdy. I don't think Joe Cobb knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. Say no more. Just like that, I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another, so I might as well get it up. She says she's going to fight the right and you should get some stuff off some guys. So I'm going to go and get that stuff off those people. First one is true that you need a certain speech check and she'll bring like some people to fight. You should help me take down the powder gun as bullets, explosives, lots of fun. I was planning on setting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. Yeah, but I don't like you, so... Outside. Oh, you. What can I get? Howdy. I hear you've got dynamite. It would help us beat the powder again. Too dangerous. We'll kill ourselves if I let you touch it. Better leave it buried. Sick. Ah. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself. I'm just going to go and buy something in the general store quick. And now, I'd like to play one of my very favorite. Feeling thirsty? Give me a shout out. I just bought two magazines, a fixing fi magazine, plus a sort of pair by ten, that I'm going to need in the next town. And I also bought a barter magazine that will help me right now. Normally you'd have to buy leather armor with the sky, but if you've got 25 barter, you do, or if you're doing the powder gang, working with the powder gang, you can do a speech check. You must be the one doctor. Oh, shut up. You're so annoying. I hate your voice acting. You're terrible. Uh, where is it? Where is it? You're looking to buy some support. Yep, so I just read the magazine now. Got, got leather armor. And this one I don't believe decays very fast. So that's always good. Yep, that's cool. Also, can I put a helmet on with that? Uh, do I even Yes, I can. That's sick. I don't. Be oh, I can't believe how long it takes to do stuff in this game. Nine minutes, and I've talked to three people. Oh my god. Oh no. I want to get some more stuff with some people. Doc Mitchell. You can get three stim packs off Doc Mitchell, but if you have a magazine, he'll give you two doctor's bags. But here's a different technique if you need a doctor's bag, because they will have dynamite, and dynamite's not something to joke around with. Go over here, and there's a doctor's bag right there. Grab that. And go over to Doc Mitchell, who is sitting in this depressing room, eating kebabs. No stick things. Welcome back. Um, 
The time's gonna be a tip like that. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just... Three stem bags. Oh, yes, I have enough. I ain't got much. Two dots. Well, that works incredibly well, because now I've got enough dots. Right. Okay, never mind. I, I've got enough three doctor's bags of, and I can't convince that. So I got everybody but Easy Pete. Now I think I'm ready to do this. So let's get into our fighting view. Let's go and talk to this guy. And I'm going to end the episode here because I don't want to play this fight on the new episode. Okay, so see you next time. This is Sam Hunt, and I hope you've enjoyed my Fallout New Vegas walkthrough, part 9.